Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Hyken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen playthrough where I'm trying to take on the game on the hardest difficulty. It is time for the first invasion that happens. From time to time, liberated areas are going to be invaded and that's exactly what happens here. Operation Mountain Walker is that. We're going to land with our squad. Uh, now I took some Grey Knights, some other high-ranking soldiers and some Psyops to basically uh, grind down the enemies and hopefully be successful. So let's go. All right, landing. Jumping out of the Sky Ranger recklessly, all the good stuff that you would expect. And we're ready. Oh boy, are we ready. Advent troops are attempting an invasion of the city center to retake control of the area. Advent's agents have set up a psionic command relay somewhere in the city. An initial strike force has landed. If we shut down the command relay, Advent may be forced to abandon their attempt to retake the city. But we must ensure that they can't eliminate our resistance leadership in the area. So rescue as many rebels as possible. Destroy the uh, psionic command center. So that is one. And we got rebels outside of... Oh no, just outside of our movement area. Okay, I was about to say... That's cute. All right, Oscar Miking. Invisible Strawman. Go, you're safe. Go. We'll be on duty to save all of the rebels or the majority thereof. Okay, at least we know where the rebels are. That's not bad. Implacable. Hmm. Let's do this systematically. Do not just charge in. Okay, we can already see there are more chrysalids. Have they aggroed? No, they have not. Cool. Well, hmm. Hmm. All right, face walk to here. My trigger that second pack. I'm generally okay with that. I can still control them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Take the explosion with a heavy gunner. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Let's try to hit as many as we can. Good hit. So those two are down. Not sure if both of the chrysalids are down. We're going to find that out. Running and gunning. And I must say, the teleportation indeed is super good. The other chrysalid is not down. Okay, so that'll be our first target then. Eight five runs and guns as well. Could hand over something to Jarengs, but 
or deciding to not do that instead 25 points of damage holy that was good Don't mind standing all the way out in the open. Memory is going to support you with that. And we're handing over advanced teamwork. I'm just pushing the tempo as you can see. And mainly the reason why I'm doing that is I want us to go and take that objective as soon as humanly possible. Good hit. Keep it going, hunk. Oh yeah. Very good hit. The mind is willing. Good, let's get this guy down. Nearly willy as always. Good. Go. Two packs eliminated right from the get-go. BDM. Rushes forward, implacable, takes high ground. Uh, nah, we just need one person to run there. Closing on target position now. Got it covered. The chosen is in position. Time to put it down. Whom are we fighting? Right on oh, the hunter. Hates Reapers, Poison, can overkill, uh, mm, low hit point targets, uh, easier to hit, and moves after taking damage. Okay, well, we know he's going to be an absolute pain in the rear, but I appreciate we have quite a bit of fire firepower ourselves. Commander, one of the Chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it throws off the rest of our operation. What? This is just too easy. The only thing on the line here is your planet, Commander. No okay, so you're telling me there was kind of a rando... Okay, but I saved two and basically nothing happened. Huh? Okay, chosen. Somewhere in there. Do we have a bunker buster? No. Do we have anything that is going to remove large amounts of cover? No. Uh, unfortunate. Let's start with easier problems. So we have a lot of these guys here. It says go out of here, zero people saved. It's just a lot of civilians. Hmm. Okay, let's push further forward, shall we? Teleportation is off the table, yeah, so that. we're de doing it the old-fashioned way, which is Hunk moving forward. Out. 5 also moving forward. Reinforcements soon are going to join. We know the Hunter is in here. We generally know this room here is safe as well. The backup plan, if we would trigger something as stasis. I'm going. Possible I don't want to do that. 
but that's always a safe bet in case you're having problems. Memory moves up. moving further forward and in terms of just charging in Johnny Five certainly on it. begins to very much move forward. Okay, lots of overwatches. The hunter shows his ugly face. She never fails me. And shoots someone. Matter of fact, shoots two people. And we don't even know where our resistance operatives are. It's funny, eh, because I am rescuing well that was the normal civilian as well okay cool i was like i'm rescuing normal people and it seems to make no difference whatsoever sure thing. memory moves up we're going to use our body shield proactively against Mr. Hunter. And somehow we can't get in there. That's a bit annoying. Let's try to get rid of the priest. There's another pack here on top of the roof. Gotta be super careful. starts to burn and moves away yeah we'll just continue dealing damage here advanced teamwork where's the advanced teamwork so you can teamwork in one direction but not in the other one is that what you're saying mm -hmm. open up that way we at least do have the close quarter uh, shooting it's by the way a little bit ridiculous that you can't I uh, can't do it in the other direction. Good. He can't do anything. Anyways, reinforcements are going to come in. Absolutely. Get back to the ship. Did we rescue a single person that mattered so far? No. But we rescued a lot of civilians, so I guess that is something.
BDM, get some mind merge because why not? Overwatching. And we're just going to overwatch over here. We know there is a pack up here, just don't want to trigger it. Whatever you say. Moving to Overwatch. You want some more? I hope you're not expecting me to go down that easy. Now nah, we're just going to Overwatch here. Reinforcements are coming in. Rather light reinforcements so far. We have one more or two more packs waiting. Chosen continues to take burning damage, which generally is fine. I don't mind that. Good. Well, the close uh, shotgun specialist really didn't work that well. Let's remove that stupid toxicity. Not a problem. You're good to go. Move. And we still have not rescued a single soul. You know what? Might as well. Hit into the hit. Into a hit. And now he's properly set up for what I am intending to do. Classical shotgun to the face, although his face is a bit further away. Come on, Han. Don't embarrass yourself. Thank you. Okay, Warlock is here. we're continuing Heading there now. how many hit points does this thing have Nine and nine, more than eighteen. Let's put it this way. Warlock hid himself very well, and I think what we're going to do is a classical breaking line of sight strategy, because when someone like the Warlock moves up in order to give you a hard time, 
Now what you're going to do in response is just give them a hard time in return and if you can't do that immediately well then you need to be able to move back be a bit smart about it definitely putting a sniper um, the other sniper uh, where the first uh, where the one is that can see the target oh wow magnetic rifle could have upgraded that problem with him is he can unfortunately still reach us interesting Hunk gets a tiny little healing just to top him off. On my way. That could have been bad. What? Okay. He can squad side uh, shoot. Okay, I. Yeah, I could have just triggered it. To be fair, that was a lazy move. Did we destroy it? No, we did not yet destroy it. Longbow needs to die. But for whatever reason, we're just grazing them. up you know that was good nice little shot sure thing watch your fuck what you expect free reload Oh, come on. Okay, we know he's positioned there. So might as well give him something to work with. Oh wow, we got our first actual rescue, holy. Also known 
uh, to his friend says, holy she. Um, no, we don't want to trigger any of that. Moves to here and begins to try to hit him. We definitely need to mark him too low chances to actually hit him well. He's immune to that and can't stun him, so no point in trying. What I can do though is hit him with a flamethrower and hopefully burn him. Yep, that's good damage. No reinforcements are going to come this round, which will give us a better chance to actually hit him. It's going to take more than a few wounds to slow me down, Commander. Okay, he's already burning. Might as well overwatch. Someone could get temporary hit points. I think we're going to take the DM. Good, let's see what he's going to do in his ever so wise reaction. Good, we're being flanked. They get free shots, which is crazy. We haven't even done anything. <laughs> okay, luckily they rolled really bad on their shots. Did I, ooh, did I leave that standing? Oh, wow, that was an absolute colossal oversight, but yeah, not a lot of damage, luckily. Okay. So apparently, we just uh, have destroyed that relay. Not sure why additional reinforcements are still incoming, but okay. Well, one step at a time. Good, you my friend are going to go down. Let's do a bit of insanity here. Good, that's one panicked enemy. I like it. Whatever you say. Memory moves up. And she's typically not dealing a lot of damage outside of her grenades. Might as well use that to our advantage. What's 
over there. There we go, that's the fuse I was looking for. Minimum damage again. Good, we're becoming um, implacable and untouchable. Moves over here, <clears throat> reload, still can't see the Chosen, unfortunately. Let's get you down. Yeah, and we're reloading in a clever anticipation of what's about to come. You might deal with that. I'll fortify ourselves here. Gremlin, medical detail. Argument heals himself. And we're continuing to hopefully rescue civilians. Hunk is moving. Overwatch. This guy might uh, take some damage now, so that we can easily kill him next turn. And we're going to lose concealment soon. Commander. I want to Our kill that chosen. We only need the commander alive. It's only season on the rest. Not sure why reinforcements are still dropping. Technically that shouldn't be the case. He's down to single digit hit points. Oh nice. Okay, so I hope it's worth it. moves to here. Soul fires uh, this guy. Should have teleported and have gotten the stun lancer. Okay, so I got one. Now we need to put him into a stasis, and at least no more reinforcements are coming. 
Let's uh, start. I like to hear that. Get another. Wait, 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 wait. That should have gotten hit and run. Ah, that might not happen together with um, with run gun. Just kill him. Raising shot is enough. That first shot is always crucial. You're going to have to do a lot better than that. Back in. On my way. Namri moves up. Body shield, incendiary grenade, and that should be his death. It's not great, but it is something. And Toxic moves to here. I think we might even rescue the other six. That would be great. We're keeping seven and only lost to two in the process. We know stasis has ended, that's all good and fine and dandy. Heavy Lancer gets crowd control the third time in a row. That's why I like crowd control builds because that guy hasn't done anything. Nah, not worth it. Centurion or the other Centurion. Oh, we're going to start with a Centurion. Oh, 30 points of damage. Behave. And they don't even know where it was coming from. Turion takes some damage and then we're just rapid firing him to the ground. Very nice. Not a problem. Namri on the other side could stun this guy and therefore completely take them out. 
but it is only a disorientation. Nah, not, not important. Spacewalks. And we're just going to stasis you. And deal with you next turn. And since I think that that is indeed the so. last pack, we should be a-okay. -okay. Dedication allows us to still grab that loot. I was a bit sloppy on our loot, but I think overall the rest of the mission went very well. Just soul fire him. Thank you. I, I definitely got that one. And I think Paul, um, no, 85 here, could require that extra kill. Not a Setting him up. Good hit, and now 8-5 can finish. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice. Well, I couldn't really... I, I made one mistake when I moved uh, into the Hunter's Overwatch with our uh, specialist. That I could have done better, but other than that, I think it was clean. Very well pushed in, got into a good position, destroyed the relay, prevented reinforcements from happening, and got the Hunter down. The DM has plenty of options here. I think I'll just do Comet Fitness because mobility is good, aim is good, and the rest is also good. Uh, we don't we don't uh, have the ability to let every soldier be excellent. EDM and Hunk apparently seem to like each other a lot. And Toxic got a promotion. So let's see. Um EDM? And Hunk indeed like each other, which means... Oh no, 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 no. Who am I to deny their love for each other? Good. They are on the same team now, which is great. I wanted to do a couple of other things. Oh yeah. 
we finally have Toxic here. Oh, and he has Void Rift. That's a great ability. Yeah, we're going to take that one over teleportation. We're going to take that one over teleportation for sure. Void Rift is just too good to pass by. In terms of <clears throat> in terms of just squats, if we look at it, right? So we do have <clears throat> on the Grey Knights a couple of them in the second Grana team that still need to get to Master Sergeant Scythe as well. Blood Angels, um, still a few couple with the Space Wolves and then Ultramarines need quite a few. They just got their first Master Sergeant yeah, and the lower level teams definitely need a lot more attention. So after the dust has settled, right? We are seeing that the ha uh, Haven is still liberated. We're still recruiting, uh, albeit it uh, took two loss. We took two losses. But we got ability points for free. We got Alois and Delirium, which is good. New Arctic would be up here. Continuing to recruit, very good. I think you will find our oh, look at that! Mwah, beam cannon, and we don't only have that, but we do have cannons for our mechs. Oh yeah, I like it. Presumably. Let's do this, but I would want to get some more money. Supply drop is still too far away and I rather want the other plasma weapons to be upgraded. Okay, no neuro whips are not uh, for sale. Alarm cores aren't for sale either. But you can have a couple of mutant corpses. I mean, they are good, but uh, we need the monies. Ah, uh, Bezica corpses. I think they were for car uh, car carapace plating. So we'll keep that. Don't need that. That's all good. Um, don't need that. Okay. Yeah, superior focus, thank you for offering, I would say. Advanced focus, the exact same comment. Yeah, and if you, if you just really go through that, and I'm doing it from time to time, you can see just how much money we're making. I forgot we now have a spider suit as well, which is great. Good. 500, that's fantastic. A tiny fraction of that goes into upgrading this so that uh, we do have fully upgraded turrets just in case. And a bigger fraction goes into this here. Thank you. Plasma Lance we'll get to work on the is going to be our next big thing. Very good. Continuing to heal 
and I'm still waiting for the next tranche of um, for the next tranche of missions. We still only have a strength four region here, so there could be a lot of missions. We got a strength three region there, so a lot of missions are available as well. And we finally got another attack, Nico. Are there still rookies around? No, there are not. Good, Dark Tower, my dude. You want to be gray as gray can be. Good job, and as a combat sim, advanced agility is great. Defense, I like that as well. How much dodge do you already have? Seven? Well, it's not bad, so let's give you 13 more. There you go. 20% chance to make it the grazing hit. All right, rookie is available for recruitment. You don't need to let uh, to tell me twice that that is the case. Good hit chance. That to me screams uh, we need either of the shooty classes again. I think we. It has been a long time that we had a gunner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Ranger, one, two, three, four, five, six. Rangers are still lower. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sharpshooters. All right, in which case the jury has decided we're going to be a Ranger. Listen, all of the classes are good. Don't let, you, don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. You can win with a lot of different squad compositions. New Chile. New any India uh, can now continue recruiting and New Chile is doing that very actively. Almost up to 13. That's one of the regions that we can groom or improve on soon. But I think since we already have three regions where we're very, very actively looking for enemies, um, let's first do the liberations. Um, where would a liberation make most sense? Here in Africa, we would get access to West Africa, right? Maybe we're even starting down here with just doing missions. Because that could do the li liberation chain. Sure, why not? Scientist. And we are starting with putting Intel in. And three people are continuing to recruit. I like that split. That way we're continuing to have enough people there. Good, Shredder Ammo. Cool. We're ready to go, Commander. Need more Maybe projects. Build one at any time. I think the school jack isn't bad and the bolt caster isn't bad either. Starting with the bolt caster and then the school jack. Just getting a couple of basic items out of the way now. And that was 15, but we had a really large team, right? I will think about maybe we're actually doing the 15. Get a few less chests, but a little bit more experience in the process. That's okay. That is very much okay. What's not okay is that we don't get more training on the Psi operatives. Hate it. Toxic is almost uh, done with kind of his grind to the Master Sergeant equivalent. 
Magus is, I think, what uh, the rank is still called. Yeah, and we're having a lot of people sitting on the bench, which is so and so. But we're soon going to get a new batch of missions, right? Uh, so that's okay. Just from a squad management perspective, you guys are fighting the chosen, so that doesn't count. Soon another chosen mission will pop up, so uh, Grey Knights will go for that as, uh, again. Don't really care too much about that. Uh, Grey Knights 2, uh, you should be a Haven Advisor. Let me fix that. Good. We only need Haven Advisors that are already Master Sergeants. Good. Because they're not missing out on experience. Cool. Back to squad management. So you guys can still get a little bit more experience and I'll use them here and there whenever it's convenient so that all of them will get the master sergeant level as well. Uh, can actually pair them uh, with uh, Implacable and Plisket. Not, not a bad combination. Could be a, a team uh, that uh, just gets everything. but. If you just look at our chapters, right? So we have the aspirants that are on a mission. I tend to give them the first choice of any easy mission for obvious reasons, because uh, we get the most promotions out of it and get a good chunk of our uh, newbies started. Cool, good. So if you think about it, this is, uh, they are the only ones, uh, this is an not a normal mission. This is kind of an off roster mission. They are the only ones that are currently um, that that are currently on a mission and ready to go. I don't know what Advent is doing, but we're not detecting it, um, or they are not doing anything at the moment. It's a bit of a weird behavior because typically you do have a pool of missions, then you detect them, um, you infiltrate all of them, and then you just finish them one by one and new missions spawn, right? So it just might be that we haven't really detected them yet. And that's the reason why uh, we couldn't do it. But I would be expecting that we're getting way more missions through the three areas that we do have. Um, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, maybe eight. And I counted the first uh, two as one. So in a perfect world, we would have seven to eight missions running at the same time so that I can actually get more resources and more stuff. Um, appreciate that that's not always how it works, but uh, I, would love, I would love it to work that way. Okay, anyways, that's the end of uh, today's episode. We defend it, which is good. Next time we're going to see the rookie squad again. If you like the long war content and the thoughts around it and the strategizing, then leave a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great one. Bye-bye.